Welcome to my channel. I'm Rosalie Langmont, the writer and creator of the blog My Lady Mother on WordPress. If you're interested in reading more, I've included the link below in the description. Now, ahead of Clothiers, which is coming up in a few weeks' time on February 1st, I wanted to touch on something that I will not focus on in the workshops I'll be teaching on the fitted coat and why I've changed the way that I teach the workshop from the way I started seven years ago. First of all, a quick glossary. In the High Middle Ages, a person wore three um, layers of clothing. A smock um, or a shirt for your men, um, and this would be worn closest to the skin. The next layer would be the coat or the kirtle, and then um, the outer layer would be called the um, surcoat, um, which um, is sometimes called the um, coat hardy, but it could also be a very different garment, such as um, a sideless surcoat. Now above this, I, people would wear um, a mantle or a cloak, but that's for um, warmth um, when you're out of doors. So we're just going to focus on um, the three layers that one would wear indoors, specifically the coat, which is the middle layer. Now this was um, the most fitted of the garments, depending on when in the 14th century and where it was worn. Um, and for skinny to average body types, this garment can be fully supportive as um, mine is now. But um, once a woman's uh, bust exceeds certain proportions, achieving support can become an endeavor, and in some cases, an odyssey. Now, when I first began teaching this workshop, I was the thinnest I'd ever been. And um, you could basically fit me into anything very easily. And I very brashly thought that um, the ability to get support for any body type in a coat was a matter of good tailoring. Then I became pregnant um, and then I nursed two children and I learned more about my bosoms than I ever understood before. So even though I can conceivably make my um, coat support my breast when I'm supplement nursing, um, a child who's on solids that is, I will rarely if ever go without a bra while I'm wearing a coat because I don't want to risk um, breast infection and I don't want the discomfort of all that comes with it that I wasn't used to before when I was a skinny mini. Now in the Middle Ages, some women could support their breasts with their coats or kirtles, but other women had to resort to other means, such as a supportive bra like the ones found in Luxembourg, or um, uh, bath dresses with a fitted bust, and there are even written accounts of women sewing bags um, for support and their breasts and their garments. Long story short, the support being the bosom and fitting the coat are actually two separate projects. Therefore, I believe that those take two separate classes. And since I'm only teaching one class, we'll be teaching on coats. On a personal note, I have known so many women who have struggled to find um, mundane bras that adequately support their bosoms. And I think that it is onerous to ask them to support with linen and thread, specifically or preferably hand-sewn linen garments, um, that which they rely on underwires and elastics and um, nylons to support them um, regularly. And I feel very strongly that fitting a coat is meant to be tailored to one's body which it's meant to fit, and in some cases, yes, it gives some support, but and for some people, that's enough support, but for other people, it's not enough support. And the quest for more support is a separate endeavor, and therefore a separate class. And while I definitely encourage people to um, pursue period methods of support, we won't be going over that in the coat class. And in the meantime, I encourage you to wear the support that makes you feel the most comfortable and the most confident. Um, before I finish this video is to touch on one last thing that I will be doing a little bit differently this year. This will be the first year in which I ask for a class fee in order to participate in the fitting portion. And that's simply because um, I will be providing the materials used for the fitting. 
um, we will have a cap of 10 people so that we can um, stay within our two hour parameters for the um, two workshops. So um, that will be two people, excuse me, that will be 10 people who um, can participate in the um, hands-on portion. There will be no cap on who can come and observe and that is audit the class and auditors will not be charged a class fee. So if you are able to come, please come join us in Calentir, um, more specifically Gardner, Kansas and Experience Clothiers. We'll have dozens of classes on um, medieval costuming, making um, accessories for wardrobes, we'll have displays in middle garb, and there'll be super nice people who will share in your nerdiness. The link to the event details is also included in the um, description box, and I hope to see you there. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be back to share more fun thoughts and tips on life as a medievalist, a homemaker, and a mother.